Well, I'm out. Um, on one of my own permissions now. I've done the last of the archaeological digs for the year. Um, halfway through December now. That's the first decent day I've had since the um, the end of the last dig, which is the Roman road. Um, so, as I say, back on one of my own permissions, I'm going to head off um, over to where I finished um, on one of the fields across the way there. And uh, we'll have a wander through and just see if anything comes up, because we have had quite a lot of stuff out of that field. Um, be interesting to see if there's anything in what's left right, of it. Um, so started there, right by the fence. Taking what maybe half a dozen steps or so. Got a really good signal here, um, 68. And uh, right, this dropped out the bottom of the sod there. Um, not sure what it is, but some sort of lid, I, I suspect. Um, I will try and clean it up later on, but uh, possibly an interesting little find. Um, another few steps further on, uh, this one was 81.84 um, and here uh, we have, oh yeah again it dropped out the bottom of the sod there, um, thimble I think. Uh, yeah, nice little thimble. Good signal here, um, 78 to 82, and what looks like a strap end possibly. There's two bits on that. Yeah, um, certainly a pattern on that one. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but a uh, definite pattern there. Um, the back bit looks like a, a retainer. Maybe it's not a strap end, maybe it's uh, some sort of buckle. Except it's got a loop in the a hole in the top. Don't know. Um, another potentially interesting little find, though. Well, next one here. Um, it's actually quite deep. Um, you can see there, look, uh, eight inches, and uh, right in the bottom. Um, ah, I was going to say we had a coin, but no, it's a button. Uh, yep, definitely a button. Okay, um, I would have said that was maybe silver. Come back. <laughs> so that was maybe silver, to be honest, but uh, maybe not. Okay, now I'm pretty sure it's a bottom. Right. Our next one here, um, this one's coming up to 65 and uh, the oldy uh, clog clasp, um, the back half, um, yep, okay, clog clasp, 18th, 19th century, let's keep moving.
Well, here's an interesting little find. Um, looks like a ring, but uh, push this out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a, it is a ring. Yes, it is. Yeah, look at that. Very nice too. Uh, fair size as well. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's probably a fairground ring. I think it's copper. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little find. All right. We'll check it out later on. Uh, as I say, I'm pretty sure it's it's not precious metal, but um, that's a nice little find. Quite pleased with that. ET signal here um, and, uh, looks like we've got the first coin of the day um, half penny uh, came out uh, just here which was un under the slice um, I didn't quite get the um, pinpointing right on it but yeah I don't think there's very much on it um, we'll give it a clean up properly later on but uh, it is a coin first one of the day I'm uh, pretty sure it's a half penny. Yeah, nice ring in uh, 78 to 81 here. And uh, again, oh, dropped it, whatever it was. Oh, has he gone now? <sighs> ah, here we go. Right, uh, not sure what it is, but I don't think, think it's a button. So it's maybe a top off or something, but it seems to be quite a bit of decoration on it. Very small though. Okay, um, we'll give it a bit of a clean later on, but potentially a nice little find again. A cracking double belt on here, um, 86 to 88, uh, coin number two for the day, this one modern, 50 pence, um, yeah, 50 pence piece, okay, right, that can go in the uh, petrol jar, all right, let's keep moving. A really good signal here, um, 86 to 88. Um, dug the sod out and uh, pinpointed showed it was still in there. So I went down, had a, a bit of a scrape, and right here, you can see that. It's blurred, why isn't it focusing? Come on now. Really? Okay. Here, looks, it's a coin. And I'm sure it's a silver coin. Yes, it is. Well, all right, coin number three, and it's a silver. We have quite a few silvers out of this field. Uh, sixpence, I think. Oh, and yeah, it's, it's Georgian. That's, I'm sure that's a Georgian third sixpence. 
Fantastic. Okay, um, right, I had to go all the way across the field to get it, but brilliant. It's good 76 signal here and uh, took a bit of finding but eventually we got it, a uh, nice little uh, buckle but uh, possibly some gilt still on there maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it's quite nice, pity the pin's missing but it is what it is. Right, um, 18th century I'm guessing, so alright let's crack on. And the 83 signal here, and uh, this came out from underneath the sod. So it's, uh, yeah, okay, uh, seven inches or so, <coughs> and I can see. Um, let's see if we can get it here. Oh, there we go. Right, just there. Um, okay, so the copper disc is out there. Hate me, I think, or a, a button. Nope, don't think it's a button. Very thin for a hate me, but looks like con number four, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. We'll check it out, but uh, we'll, we'll go with coin number four for the moment and uh, see. But it's very, very thin. A really good signal here, um, coming up to uh, 81 to 83, and uh, it's out in the sod. I split the sod, and uh, it's here. So, let's have a look. Hello, is it the musket ball? In fact, I think it is the musket ball, yeah. Okay, I have not one of these for a while. A cracking uh, 83-84 double belt zone here and uh, at the top of the sod is another coin. Oh, this is not focusing for some reason this camera, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it's another coin, it's another half penny, and they're really thin again. The last one was um, an Irish one, I think it's George III, um, but I'll check it out when I, when I get home, but definitely an Irish half penny. This one is equally as thin and may be the same, but I just can't see anything on it at the moment. Okay, so another coin, let's keep going. Alright, so I'm just back at the gate almost. Um, been through the four fields now. Uh, just had a 78 here. Um, quite deep. Yep, about seven inches down. I can't believe this. It's a hammered silver. Not in great condition. Certainly not on that side anyway. Um, bent there, but I might be able to straighten that. But yeah, the back looks pretty good. I should be able to ID it from that. Wow, who'd have thought that? From all the way up here by the gate. Right, wonderful. Two silvers in one day. One of them a hammered. Okay, now we're getting back on the stuff.